what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and for today i want to talk to you guys just a little bit about update 3.8 the black panther update the update that will be running alongside his movie which will be in theaters february 16th i am so freaking excited boys i've been counting down the days because i am a diehard black panther fan he's actually the main character that made me want to play marvel future fight because when we first get started we actually get to play with black panther thor and black both i love all three of those characters but to be honest with you guys t'challa is my favorite and i absolutely loved playing with him in the story mode for the tutorial however when i came in as a brand new player and i tried to build him up i build him up and then i find out that he's not that good and over time he got better however i've always wanted more out of the black panther so the fact that he's finally getting a standalone movie where he's gonna kick some major ass i was really looking forward to him getting the kingly treat and actually getting a badass cool looking uniform and some new skill changes actually propelling him to the top of the game in some shape or form not saying he needs to be the best combat type in the game but i would absolutely love it if he could solidly sit maybe like top five in like just regular tier one base characters i'm not talking like he needs to be up there with the likes of wolverine and apocalypse but i would like him to sit pretty close up there to hulk if you ask me that's where i would like black panther to be and the fact that i see his uniform and it literally just looks like a reskin of this one i'm actually really really sad and i'm really really hoping that we're not just getting a skin for him and that's it because i would love it if he got some more dps i would love it if some of the bleed in his kit either gets ridiculously more powerful or they just get rid of them completely because the bleed in this kit is useless and the bleed as his uniform bonus is useless so i'm really hoping we don't get another useless uniform for black panther granted aesthetically speaking i would much rather use black panther in this than in the modern look but to be honest the uniform this one is not doing much for him if anything at all so if you ever wondered whether or not you should buy this uniform for black panther the only reason i have it is because i like how it looks as opposed to how this one looks okay that is it and if the new uniform is the exact same case where if you're using black panther in the modern look and the new uniform and it's just like aesthetics that you're buying the uniform for i'm gonna be really really sad even if i have to play a thousand crystals for the new black panther uniform i will happily pay it if it actually does something significant for the character so i'm really really hoping that marvel doesn't shaft us on black panther's uniform because to be honest with you guys i'm disappointed in the look that they chose for shiri i'm really disappointed she looks way too cartoony for me i would love it if they actually gave her her black panther uniform from the comics because i think she looks amazing in it absolutely amazing i'm still probably gonna pick up the character day one and build her up hopefully she's free to play friendly but with the way that marble is moving these days it's probably gonna be a paywall they might as well just make everything in this update paywall like we will have to wait and see i'm actually very excited though to see what they're gonna do for eric killmonger very excited for the gold panther so that's probably something i'm gonna pick up day one hopefully he's actually not paywall because if he is i'm probably gonna have to buy a monthly bio selector or i'm gonna have to get some more crystal via a stark stash because i want eric killmonger so yeah it's gonna be a very very expensive month if they actually decide to make this entire freaking update completely paywall and i know it's gonna piss off a lot of people so i'm really hoping they don't another thing that i wanted to talk about there's not really been too much to talk about in the sneak peeks which is why i have not made any videos on them especially when the main thing that i want at this state in the game is more new content and not so much more new characters yes i want a new uniform for black panther yes i'm happy eric is coming to the game yes i'm happy sherry is coming to the game but i would be more happy if we were getting more content real legit content and not just more new characters in this update once again maybe netmarble is saving everything for update 4.0 but looking at update 3.0 I don't know if I want to take that chance and say, okay, I'm going to bite the bullet for another update and put a whole bunch of money in this game and put everything all on update 4.0. But that's just my personal thoughts on it. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to really happen. What are the changes going to be like for this new, what you may call it, 
legendary mode that they're gonna call cinematic battle now is it actually going to be something that's legendary because these are not legendary these are just i would say boring at this point because the only real reason anyone even wanted to do these in the first place was for the rewards i'm actually very interested in seeing what rewards the black panther is going to be able to give us are we going to get more comic cards are some of the comic cards that are currently in the game going to be in this and is the difficulty of the new legendary mode going to stay the same as this thing if it stays the same can we really be happy with that as new content because let's be honest a lot of us are already completely bored of cinematic battle <laughs> to the point where we just want the cutscenes to be completely gone because we're literally only doing it for the off chance that we get a good amount of clear tickets or some really cool amount of gold from these completion rewards that's pretty much what everyone is doing this for these days also from this update it looks as though we're going to be getting a new easy free way to get us some boost points every day how much boost points i don't think it's going to be more than maybe 20 25 50 at the absolute most but maybe they'll surprise me i'm happy we're going to be able to get some more boost points however i don't expect to get anything from these boost points because to this day i still can't get a ctp after spending thousands so not really expecting too much on that front but i'm happy that we're going to be getting some free boost points and in a way where you literally don't have to spend any money all you have to do is have some common sense or just google some shit and you'll get some free easy boost points not really too much to say i just want to see what the past notes is going to look like and are we going to finally get some new content because lately the game has been very dry if you guys have been watching the videos you notice i'm just playing shadowland i'm just playing world boss i'm just playing some alliance battle that stuff i'm not really too excited about this game anymore i'm actually branching out into other games because like i said the game is just stale and it's actually really really sad because as of right now we have 150 characters in the game soon to be maybe even 155 depending on how many characters they put in this update and all you ever really need is 30 to 35 of those characters effectively making the majority of your roster if you're someone like me who have pretty much everyone built up completely useless so it's very very sad for me that i can't use a lot of these characters and some of these characters i've never actually used ever anyways i'm rambling here i just want to hear your thoughts are you guys happy with just another update where we're going to get a couple characters and a new change to the cinematic battle is that enough for you if it is then kudos to you but it's not for me so yeah another update that i'm not really feeling I may end up spending on it just because I want Eric's uniform and I want Eric and I also want to get T'Challa's uniform day one because I'm looking forward to seeing just how good it makes him. But yeah, that's all I have to really say for this one, man. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.